Out with the old, in with the new. Hobonichi style. Hi guys! Today I want to go over my old Hobonichi Techo from 2022, do a little flip through November and December, and a little sneak peek into my 2023 brand new Hobonichi Techo A6. So let's begin. 2022 is over and I have to say goodbye to my Hobonichi A6 from that year. Now this one is actually a spring start so it starts in April and I have another three months I can spend in here but I decided to close the year and close this book on the 2022 and start a brand new one for 2023. So what I have here to show you today are the flip throughs for November and December that I haven't showed you yet and as you can see my clear cover on cover is gone and also the card that used to be in front of it I took that cover and <laughs> gave it to my brand new Hobonichi 2023 with the brand new beautiful cover that I don't want to ruin so this is uh, the Hobonichi Techo cover the way it looks like when you get it first as you can see my clear current cover did its job and this one is nice and clean and it's not dirty and so it will stay this way together with the book inside uh, and I will file it away for um, in the archives so the pen that I've used in the last month of uh, my use of this uh, was this beautiful mint swirled mini tiny a little baby pen from Majan and I love this little thing it is a pen with no cartridge you literally just open it and you use um, dripper to put ink inside it seals really really well I didn't have to do anything separate or additional to make it not leak and works really well it's a medium nib pen and um, it does not have as you can see it does not have a clip so you have to be careful when you use it with your Hobonichi because it does slip out so um, in the Kobonichi itself this card used to be on the front under the cover so I decided to keep it just inside for kind of a memory historical purposes and I decided to keep a couple of the cutouts that used to be in there um, to stay in here this card here and this little mushroom and um, as far as the monthlies I decided to stick to very light and minimal style I like keeping it clean I think it's um, I like using these minimal decorations with this size because it's so small and all the spaces for your entries are already small so by keeping it clean I can clearly see um, all the happenings you know all the birthdays and travel and things like that um, used a little uh, top of the <laughs> washi that I got here with a little cute panda um, I used this sticker that I got from jet pants and just put November here some washi and just I uh, used my favorite uh, pens in the world, Stabilos in all the different colors as well as um, some of the pens um, like these to just make minimal decorations. I've been really enjoying the set of Zebra Mild Liners. I got recently this little set of matching colors that are all in this gentle earthy tones and I've been really enjoying adding those little touches to the pages. And in December I also stick with a very light, very clean line theme here of course we had Christmas coming up so I put a little Christmas tree here I just doodled it some little snowflakes here but otherwise I stuck with this kind of like a brown dark green theme I also used a little candy cane looking washi tape here to you know kind of tie it all together and give a little whimsy to uh, this month where we had you know all the gifts and celebrations so um, I really like how it came out uh, very nice and clean um, everything that's important stands out because it's not you know overpowered by decorations so now let's move on to the dailies in November I decided to stick to uh, this dark turquoise and brown theme and uh, actually in this month I didn't use uh, fountain ink pens that I usually do and both of these were just gel inks and um, I believe this one was uh, from uh, Energel Klena in brown and this one was paper made in joy in this dark turquoise and to match them I kind of decided to go with this antique vintage dark brown beige um, stickies and uh, washi tapes 
and I just basically went through all my stickers and embellishment that I got over the years and I just put them together so there are several brands in here so moving on to the next page you can see I decided to stay with that theme and on some pages I uh, flip the colors I like decorating the pages as a whole spread so I try to match left and right pages so when you open they look cohesively together and that's what I did here and you will see it throughout uh, the rest of the pages as well for the most part um, again um, used brown vintage uh, washi tapes uh, here and here and because this was November, I was also participating in NaNoWriMo and I was keeping track of my word counts as I wrote daily. And moving on here, you can see basically this same theme con continues. Um, I actually wrote here LAFC or MLS champions. My family were fans of uh, Los Angeles Football Club and they won the championship that day and so we celebrated. It was a lot, a lot of fun watching them play. And again, just continuing with the same theme. Uh, again, still writing my book, still noting the word counts for every day here. And as you can see, I kind of try to use uh, same supply so it continues looking cohesively. And also it, uh, you know, lightens up my decision load so I don't have to constantly come up with something original and because as much as uh, decorating planners is a lot of fun and a creative project there are some days when you're kind of low on energy you want to make your daily entry you know to keep it going but you just <laughs> don't have juice to uh, you know come up with original decorations so to combat that and to prevent myself from procrastinating I try to keep decorations very minimal very cohesive using similar tools so then I am not um, you know prevented from writing because you know I have to come up with something exciting in decorations and moving on to next pages uh, that was when I voted put the sticker there so I know it doesn't match the color scheme but that was important so I place it here not to lose it and commemorate it um 11 11 was a magical number day so i noted it here and it was also the day right before my las vegas trip to a writer's conference and i was getting my hair done so i was very excited it was my day off on friday um again continued with the same theme um i love um sometimes paging through these because when it's all done in similar colors it comes out to be very calming when you page through it as you can see um there is not a lot Lot of super variety and I know for some people variety is actually exciting and again like I mentioned you know it feels their feels their creativity for me because this journal is part of my you know self-care and um, you know peace of mind I like when the same color scheme continues throughout the pages and that um, gives me this kind of very calming feeling very relaxing very satisfying and this uh, spread actually is pretty fun because on this day we had thanksgiving here in the united states so i uh, doodled a turkey here and some pumpkin pie and wrote uh, thanksgiving and did some leaves all with the same markers that i used throughout here to keep it cohesive and it was my uh, oldest daughter's birthday the right the following day so i drew a little cake here for her and wrote her name and just uh, drawn a little bit about the birthday party and then again just continued with the same two colors uh, this month because uh, it was pretty busy for me I traveled there were a lot of holidays uh, if you compare it to my previous month I didn't do as many decorations and elaborate um, you know just like embellishments of the pages as you can see all I kept them is all I wanted is to keep going as far as writing in here and making daily entries and so I didn't go all crazy with decorations and you can always tell the days when I was more tired or more busy uh, those would be the days when you only have basically the text and some doodling and the days when I had a little bit of a time or space of mind you would see I would put some uh, you know like cards here and some paper some ephemera and washies and things like that and now that brings us to December so I chose the colors to be on the warmer darker red side so that is why I decided to use this pen that is filled with this dark burgundy ink which is writer's blood and I chose the stickers that were all kind of in that a dark red brown very warm and cozy feels and as you can see here I decided to decorate it a little bit more than the month before I put some um, exciting gold uh, 
gold washi tape here and some flowers here and just decided to do everything in this burgundy ink and also on some days I did uh, in brown and a gel cleaner. I know it's really hard to tell where it's brown where's burgundy but this is this ink here and an gel cleaner is right here and then I just continued I used uh, this uh, you know like really pretty dark gold hard washi tape here some of the zebra mild liners and the stickers that you've seen probably in almost all of my uh, videos that are washi tape stickers and they're very thin and they don't bulk up the pages and again just continue with those same inks again because i knew december gonna be a really busy month there are at least i believe like six or seven birthdays plus christmas plus new year's that happens in our family in december i knew that i probably will not be able to embellish too much so i decided again just like i did in november stick to uh, just a very few uh, colors of markers of pens a set of stickers that i'm gonna use throughout and call it a day and um you will see on some days you can see here I was really busy so I wasn't ev even able or had energy to fill out the whole page um, on both sides and I decided to keep them that way so it, that way they actually match each other and um, I put some cute bunny stickers here and my youngest daughter actually did some of the doodles and put some more stickers here for me to fill it in a little bit <laughs> so it's not so bare same thing happened here as you can see it was um, over the weekend we had birthdays going on my it was my dad's birthday and so we you know we had family gatherings and I only was able to do to uh, journal a little bit and then I went back to uh, journaling full pages here just again continuing with the same a kind of theme those uh, dark brown and burgundy inks a zebra mild liners up at the top here and the washi stickers on um, to embellish the pages again they're all from the same set I really like them they're really cute they come in kind of like this rainbow assortment so you have sets of stickers in each color scheme so if you decide to do your whole month you know in green you can find plenty of them being in the green side if you want to do browns um, you can find you know browns and beiges and burgundies like I did and because we were getting closer to Christmas I decided to put start adding some Christmassy kind of things I have a uh, little leaves here of weird uh, berries I have little Christmas trees here it says stay cozy I have a uh, some more here give warmth here and all of these came uh, from create with pen they are so adorable really really cute stickers as you can see here some more stickers you know right up the alley of little Santa Claus with the gifts and little stripy Christmas trees here and another little girl here with a Christmas tree I doodle Christmas tree here and use some of the create with pen uh, you know Christmas ball stickers and I put them right over the tree that I drew uh, add a couple more stickers from my regular set and I wrote it's Christmas Eve uh, again was really busy days you can imagine getting ready for all the gift wrapping and cooking so I just decided right off the bat not even bother journaling here and just embellish it with stickers and writing that's what I did and same thing for the following day as you can imagine we slept in we unwrapped some gifts I just hang out with the family and um, had a really nice relaxing day and then I continued uh, because I wanted to be still kind of like a cohesive spread I added some more of the stickers from the same set here on this page and um, I really like how it came out uh, even though there is not much journaling here I think it's cute and then uh, the following pages I decided to switch the stickers just a little bit and um, I have these stickers that I got from Jet Pants. they are a roll on set and it has like I don't know 50 or 150 or something like that tiny stickers of the cozy household it has like the lamps and bookshelves and and armchairs so I put that here and I have this um, red washi tape it's a really really cool um, kind of like a medical tape fill washi tape that I decided to just um, because around holidays I decided to throw in some dark red and here's some more of those little cute cozy stickers that I just mentioned they are also on the same roll and again just for decorations I continue to use this brown washi tape here and using that same pen all throughout with um, so I have uh, this same one brush and pen in brown and I used it here to embellish 
and create this little doodle separator. And then we arrive at 31st. It's the end of 2022. Can't believe this year was probably the fastest year in my life. And I hear it from my friends as well. Again, just did a couple of cute stickers here and I wrote Happy New Year here. Um, added a little bit of that same red washi tape and some of that hearts washi tape here. And I decided to stop using the planner here. Uh, here it went goes technically in three months of 2023 but because i knew that i wanted to start in a new hobonichi in english the following year or i guess this year i decided to um, close off this book on 2022 december 31st and now let's go and check out the brand new little sneak peek in my brand new 2023 Hobonichi. So here it is my 2023 Hobonichi Techo A6 in this beautiful Mina Perhonen anemone cover. If you see in my previous video, I uh, uncovered this one. I got this one from my husband. For Christmas I was so excited I was just beyond myself because when it came out originally I missed it and it was out of stock and I even though I really wanted I figured well I guess I'm not getting it this year maybe I'll get it sometime throughout next year and then my husband gave it to me because he knew it was on my um, wish list and I was so happy to to get this beautiful beautiful uh, cover besides just uh, being uh, textile and with this design and these really calming colors I love how squishy it is with my previous cover that I just showed is more a synthetic fabric so it's flatter this one has a body and it has a really nice you know cushy feel just to hold it in your hands it's so so <laughs> such a nice feeling and to protect it as I mentioned I stole this uh, clear on clear cover from my last year's uh, Hobonichi and I put it on here because it was in a really good condition and I didn't see any reason to be buying another one so I transitioned this one from old one to new one and I had this really cute cutout from create with pen and I decided to put it underneath the clear cover to make you know just to add a little bit of a flare and the pen I'm currently using with this uh, cover and with this planner it is platinum Caritas it's a clickable pen it's really cool it's this dark turquoise i know it doesn't unfortunately come across on camera as a true color but it is a beautiful thing i love it it's a medium nib but it doesn't write too wide which i was i wanted medium nib but didn't want it to be too wet and it's perfect it's a really nice uh, ink distribution it's an excellent pen it works really well the clicker works really well it doesn't leak uh, i've been really enjoying it and i know it doesn't maybe uh, necessarily matches in a color scheme with this cover but i was so excited to get this pen for christmas that i wanted to at least use it for the first month and then we'll see uh, it comes with a cartridge of a blue ink and that's what i'm currently using but i just received a converter so i'll be installing converter so then i can use uh, other ink colors and i think that this one i will transition it to use with a different planner that i'll show in videos later that's more in this color scheme and this little guy might get a um, different pen to go with it but for now it's this platinum clickable Caritas pen really nice all right so obviously we only have been what a week into a new year so I don't have much here I haven't decorated it a lot but I did some so I'm just gonna show you a couple pages so for the front opening here I didn't do anything with this page I might I'm still thinking about it and uh, for these front pockets I'm using a lot of the little super cute cutouts from create with pen I mean she creates such adorable little item look at this guy sitting inside of a blueberry donut or I guess a curl <laughs> sitting inside of a blueberry donut this is another like, really cute I like this holographic bookshelf with stars hanging and a little coffee cup and I have a couple other ones in here including the the booklet that came with this actual cover so you know gotta keep the original what is Mina Perhonen here 
and uh, one thing I have to say I love these bookmarks I think they're so beautiful but they're so thick that when I put them between the pages they kind of make it bulky in a kind of weird way so I decided actually not to use them and just keep one on the front and one in the back here and I'm using um, these Midori paper um, tabs to uh, you know, delineate where I am. So that's what I'm doing for now. It might change, but I decided to use them since I already had a set. And I haven't done any decoration to the front pages and I'm still kind of settling into here and deciding what I want to use these monthlies for. Uh, but the regular monthly, I just decorated it again in a very minimal way. I use all the stickers that I have from Create With Pen. I decided this year for my decoration to be more on a cute kawaii kind of a side of things versus, you know, like antique vintage serious stuff. Um, I don't know. I think I need some fun in my life. So right now, um, both of my planners, this one and my everyday carry uh, moleskin pocket have uh, these kind of uh, really cute kawaii style stickers. So uh, they're really adorable. And all of these items came from the sticker pack that I got from her. And I just wrote, um, this is my birthday here. So I put a little like a cupcake, uh, birthday cake kind of thing here and i just delineated the trip we're taking in a couple days so obviously these are future months there's nothing in them and for the new year i haven't written anything as far as the turning to a page to a new year spread yet i thinking about some plans i have some things that i want to you know write here for memory's sake but i haven't done it yet and um because this and came in a red, just regular blue ink. I believe it's called blue, black blue ink. I just decided to, for now, try to match it with washes that I use. So I decided to use this beautiful flower BGM tape. It's really, really cool. I put a little Christmas tree here because it was New Year and in our culture we actually decorate tree for New Year's. And here I use some more washi tapes. These are mini washi tapes. They're super skinny. They're like maybe like a millimeter. This is actually two tapes side by side. Uh, it's really fun to try to decorate with them because you can use them for delineators. You can use them for decorations. And I use uh, some of the uh, brush pens here. Um, I'm using just this pen as far as writing. And I also use a couple of stickers here from create with pen and I also use these adorable stickers from uh, the ivory uh, company and I continue with the same thing here as you can see I have all the stickers of lady drinking coffee and working on a laptop and what I do for a living work on a laptop and drink coffee and then I haven't filled out today yet I had a hair appointment actually that was a lot of fun in time for my birthday and I used a couple of the Coffee Monster Co stickers here. I have the little one here, drinking coffee of course, and then there are uh, somewhere here. These actually were from Halloween time, but they are not you know, too in your face Halloween-y and they were kind of on the blue side of things. So I decided to put them here with my blue ink and use some of the Zebra Mod liners to decorate here up at the top. So that's all I have right now. Um, in the back of it, I transferred my invisible pencil board here from my previous year. I have my ruler that I used to tear off the washi tapes. It's very sharp and thin, so it's very helpful also to draw lines. And I just used this little uh, tag I had from one of the clothing that I bought and I thought it was so pretty, so I just put it here. And that's basically what I have in this new baby. I'm very excited to use it because let's admit it, it's such a beautiful cover and it's just very you know, inspirational to pick up this uh, planner every day, open it, hold it in your hand, give it a little squish, just look at the cute tea lover because actually as much as I talk about drinking coffee, I'm originally a tea lover, I love my tea. And um, this cover is just a thing of beauty. Everything about it just makes my heart so happy very excited about this new pen this new to me technology and it's working out really well and i will place links to everything you've seen here down in description below and i want you to let me know which one of these planners did you like i 
probably would say you probably like this cover better than this because this is kind of pretty plain but um please let me know in the comments which one of the pants did you like did you like this a little baby from Majan or did you like this new fancy clickable pen from platinum uh, what do you think about this cover do you own one of these or which one of the covers of 2023 did you decide to select if you do use hobonichi techo a6 and if you like these kind of videos please like please subscribe and leave me comments down below so i know you enjoy what i'm doing here and i will see you in the next video and until then take care bye